Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, back in Terra Tech, re or uh, reverted version <laughs> of 0.7.3.3. I'm back in the R&D once again, looking at that resource field that I'm going to harvest the heck out of at some point. And just got my useless machine loaded back in, I got a few minor adjustments made, like that one that I showed you in the last at the end, where I forgot, I got distracted, you know, I, I, but before we get into that, I got to do some harvesting. And while I'm doing that, I would like to thank you and welcome you for joining the show. Finding my little channel. I hope you find it worth coming back to over and over and over and over and over again until the internet blows up and stops working. That, that's my hopes. I got a couple. And also, I do want to remind you that I do appreciate all the awesome you guys bring to my little channel. Because without you guys, this channel ain't nothing. So, I, I once again, I'm thanking you. It is appreciated and it'll never stop. And if you're wondering, and you would like to help fuel up my little channel, and you happen to enjoy what you're seeing, you know, hit the likes, throw a comment down there, suggest some stuff, challenge me to a build even. It's been done and I enjoy them. Not saying I can do them all, but hey, I'll give it a try most likely. Especially if it, if it interests me really. Could end up doing my next big build. And, you know, also, don't forget about the Solar Showcase. You know, those videos where I take texts from everybody, anybody, all bodies, as long as they're cool and original, and I'm and they're posted on my Saturday Showcase Auditions thread on the Terror Tech Forum. You can find a link down in the description for that. And, you know, I just happen to find them because it lets me know, and I'll make the best dang video out of them I can. But they do have to be cool and original. I think that's pretty doable. They don't have to be monsters to be cool and original. Just so, just to be clear, like I don't want everyone to think that oh, they have to be huge like this thing that he keeps loading up with who knows how many thousands of chunks of resort. No, not the case. They come in all sizes. I just enjoy building the big stuff. I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. But anyway, we'll get useless mole going here again. See if we can get him in the door. Yeah, I think I got it kind of figured out, but, you know, it's still it's not perfect. Not yet. I got an idea on how to fix it. I just, another one I keep forgetting about. <laughs> it's like, you know, the other thing. There's another way you can fuel up this little channel, too, if you'd like. You know, I got this little link down there. It's uh, paypal.me link. It's set up for $2. And if you'd like to donate that $2 and help support my little channel, maybe we can get some better equipment on this end. You know, we'll have, oh, hey, you know what that $2 does? It helps me out. Oh, 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 yeah, it does that. But it also gets your name thrown into a draw for a 3D printed tech. That's not too shabby, I don't think. So, hey, if you're interested, there you are. The tech right now that I got, that I can afford, is 40 bucks. But, hey, more support, more prize. Bigger prize, better prize, more prizes, maybe. All those things, that's what I'm kind of hoping to do. Oh, help me, help me. He's, he's fallen. Useless Mo almost fell down and broke her leg. Then he would have been useless. Other than that, he is really useful, though. Like, look, he made it all the way up here. Helped show off the top here. <laughs> just the name, just so I can keep him straight, organized with this tech. <laughs> but so far, it's not turned out too bad. I like it. It looks like it has a fiery mohawk with a bit of a clown wig on the side, but... It's all good. The main part of the up, upper fire is for the to go around the terror attack. Might be a little over, a little too much, but I enjoy it. <laughs> and I, uh, this is one thing I wanted to make sure that those resources are going to be able to slide by him. But wasn't too long after that that I realized, yeah, not going good. I got too many resources on the go or something, and she crashed on me. So now I'm going to refill her up, give her another run. We'll see how it makes out this time. Because it's pretty much this week. If you're wondering why I haven't had any videos out, so far, any time I've been playing Terra Tech, I've been playing with this, trying to get it tested out, get it worked out. And I don't know if anyone noticed, but my hours have went up a wee bit on my Steam <laughs> for this game just because of that. It's not that I haven't played. It's just I've been all this hours and hours and hours just trying to make up 
something worth showing and I got little bits and as far as the harvesting I don't know I just kind of get a kick out of it I don't know why I like watching it go crunching through everything right here check oh, yeah right well the right way I'll get back down there dang it there was one I know I, I recorded it just right I was right at the front just watching it chew on everything I liked it it was entertaining <laughs> It, it achieved what my big useless machine is supposed to achieve. Just kind of make you want to just sit there and kind of watch it work. I don't know. One of those interesting things is watching stuff get chewed up, spit up, picked up. So yeah, that pretty much fills that guy, I guess. Since I left just about all of it behind. And as you can see, I've let her run through for quite a while. We got the resources up at the top here. And yeah, I got a problem with the slides. Haven't got back, haven't got to fixing that just yet. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with them. I might actually abandon the slides because playing in this old update is fine and all that, but I really don't think they're going to add back in the collisions on the resources anytime soon. Everyone's just so excited about, oh, frame rate, frame rate, but it doesn't make sense when resources can go through. So maybe I'm the only one that ain't impressed with that. I don't know. But anyway, this is how it's supposed to work. <laughs> now, it's just a matter of the odd one that gets caught up, and then it snags another and stops another, yada, yada, yada. It goes down the line, it screws up the Everton. Just Everton. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is just behind that bend in the ramps, I'm thinking of putting a receiver and then another run of conveyors to drop them again. So then it'll at least continue down to the bottom where I got even more receivers that can pick it up and take it on. And then the path is complete. But then you see up there that it's bulking up even higher. So now I got to try and maybe think about even running that conveyor line on that angle. So that's like a double angle. Because I got to angle it out on a 45 degree kind of towards the front. And then I got to angle it down on a 45 towards the bottom while keeping all faces of the conveyors facing the same way within a distance so it doesn't get pulled too far into the ramps. Gets a wee bit twicky. <laughs> and since it's all built up and everything like this, super friggin' hard. Because, like I said, you can't... Uh, maybe it wasn't this one. Maybe it was the one before. But if I'm inside the box, I have a real hard time getting my camera in a spot that'll allow me to place blocks most of the time. Because there's, there's some crazy restrictions inside this box when you're building. If you can't get have your back to an outside hole or something, things don't seem to want to work nice. But anyway, I don't know. I'm probably not explaining that the best. But if you want to find out, build a big box, kind of like this. Doesn't have to be as detailed. No, I just build a big box. Put a guy inside it and try and put a block inside. Let me know if it works for you. Because maybe it's just my... The lagginess and the weirdness of my setup. I don't know. It could be. But if you have better luck, let me know, please. That would be a cool thing to know if I'm the only one having these troubles or if everyone does. I just, I've never seen too many texts where anyone has actually been inside it and building inside it while it's enclosed. No, mind you, I don't get out to watch videos much. Usually I'm either making videos or, you know, then there's the rest of my day where it's kids and life and whatever. And wife. Yeah, wife's in there too. She's like number one on the list. <laughs> and then the kids. Eh, no, the kids are one and two. Yeah. yeah. Well, look at that weirdness there though. Freaking aiming at something. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to try this gate out again. My flood gate. I didn't really get her set out though right now that I got it started and I see it. I had too many of a couple in there, and now I got gaps, and maybe it'll it'll even out after a little bit. Get everything situated on its own. That's kind of what I'm hoping. So I'm pretty sure this is where I had uh, extended that gate floodgate conveyor line, and had it circle back down. Originally, I had it set up to not fail, or so I thought. So I. The last conveyor was right at the last filter, and if everything worked the way I envisioned it, it would never fail. But it did. <laughs> so, okay, like in the last one I asked, or maybe this one I asked, if you can notice the letters. Just let me know, because that would be a cool thing to know. I know they could be a little 
tighter groupings of the resources, but it's kind of the best I could do. <laughs> if I had a bigger build limit, though, wink, wink, hint, hint, ha, ha yeah, yeah, developers, if you're listening, maybe just leave it up to us. <laughs> if we lag out, we lag out. Just have a recommended, and then have like a, a thing that pops up. Would you like to exceed the 64 by 64 by 64 build limit? Click button, whatever. Guarantee, or have it in the stat, in the starting settings. Options. I'd hit it. Trust me. There was mention of uh, world building and such on the stream, and they kind of mentioned maybe I'd be the one to do it. Well, I kind of have. I have my little outpost, or my settlement. I've built train tracks and things before. I haven't got back to that yet. I've been waiting. I'm going to give her another try, though. I got a new idea for my elevated monorail or my track system. And with all the new optimizations and running of the game and everything, now it's a lot smoother and better now. Like, I'm getting improved frame rates on this just from update to update with this tech. When I first got it built up to this size, I'd, size, I'd get like one frame a second. And then with all the updates that have happened since I've been working on this thing, I'm now up without any resources, mind you. I'm at about five, six frames a second. Now, that doesn't sound great, but think of it. One to six frames a second. That's how much it went up just over... It's been a while. I've been working on this for a bit. Maybe a week or two, three weeks. So that's what, four? Three or four updates, something like that. But now this is back reverted. To, no, so yeah, I don't know. I got all messed up when I started when it and all that. But anyway, it's been a while and it's improving. So I'm liking it. It's not like I did anything to my computer. So as you can see, still bunging up. I was hoping, because one thing I noticed last time is when I ran the test, is I had had one of those bugs and when I pulled the next block, it did that little lean back and it was tilted. So I got thinking, oh, maybe that's why it was so bunged up. But no, I leveled her out. I'm pretty sure this one's the level one. Hold on, let me see. Uh, I didn't get down so I could see right. But this one should be the leveled out one. And it still gets caught up. It's just the shape of the resources, I think, with the square corners. And if they don't hit just, or if they hit the wrong way, then they get stuck and jam and... Most of the time, you get enough of them running, they'll all get pushed down or bumped and nudged enough. But the downside is, is you, you get that break in the colors. So you could end up with like blue before orange or orange after red when they're all supposed to be vice versa. So, another thing to think about that I got to work on. But see, I got them kind of working. The colors are making it to the letters they're supposed to go to. So I'm on the right track. So slides that need to be more reliable. But in the process of doing that, I think I got to get in here. Because I want to do, the, like I, uh, I had mentioned either this one earlier or in the last video, I want to put that conveyor line underneath the bend at least. And see how that helps. I should at least keep it moving with less slowing it down. <laughs> but I was hoping that I could just have my little cab up on that platform on the catwalk and spawn that guy in. But as you see, that did not work out the way I had hoped. <laughs> he kind of just did the Houdini and fell right through that sucker. So we'll try this. And <laughs> How do you like that? Just hanging out. Just riding the rails, you know. Just relaxing. Not going to worry about too much today. Aw, oh, I was really hoping to be able to run right down that rail. <laughs> oh, well. What's fun while it lasted? But yeah, just in case you're wondering, you can build like that. Because, like, watch here. I think this will show you pretty good. Oh, oh, get around, get around. See, if I'm way down here and I'm underneath, I'm outside of the tech, I can build. But uh, while I was up in there, I couldn't. The block wouldn't show up. And even if you hit alt and you bring it back, it'll just disappear right away. So, or very quickly, second or two. So yeah, if you work your way around and all that, you you can build it. But man, 
I mean, there's some really tricky spots that's like this side here I could see me having to tear the rest of those arrows off and maybe the other side too down low so I could fix the parts that I think I'm gonna need to fix or to improve improve upon get more capacity and faster movement of all the resources so they're sorted better and quicker get everything working I think that's my big setback right now is the final line going to the silos it's on a single line instead of the, the silos I originally had so it's a lot slower than what I originally intended and I didn't update the rest of the system to accommodate that so I really well I didn't really do it to a good thing a good way but this is part of the testing that's been now thought important so alternators will pull from silos see I didn't know that before but now I do so I'm gonna be putting that to some use that's for dang sure because that's a real handy one and then you can also have like figure eights and get some really good looping in and all that should really help with some of the more advanced setups so I got a few ideas that I may have to work on for them later but from there, I think I'm going to probably call this one near near the end. And how you like that, eh? Take it off, falls down. Still anchored, though. That's what I've been getting with the big base, or the big tech. So you can see it's tilted back there now. But yeah, once again, thanks for joining me. <laughs> I hope you did enjoy the, the video. You know, maybe it helped you out. Maybe it gave you an idea. Maybe it gave you a suggestion and will hopefully give me an idea, you know. If it did, right on, throw it my way. I'd love to hear it. Or if you even just want to say hello, it'd be great to hear from you. Or read from you. Yeah, read. Unless you got a way where you could do it. It's like, hello. It would say it on the computer. That'd be kind of neat. Just don't hack my computer, though. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, but don't. But anyway, yeah, if you did like what you saw, you know, feel free to fuel up my little channel with the likes, the comments, the subscriptions, all the awesome that you guys do bring, you know. The feedback is always appreciated because it is so helpful, and I'll never stop thanking you for it. But, also, there is the Saturday Showcase, where your cool and original text could have their very own video. Just find my link for the auditions down in the description. Take her from there, post your in-game snapshot or save game, and I'll make the video, and we'll have a bunch of fun doing it. But until next time, everybody, keep being the awesome, keep having a good one. Bye.